All right, we're going to do a test of upgrading the firmware of the EcoFlow 2, Delta 2, while we have it under load. I think before I had everything turned off, I want to make sure that um, when I, if I upgrade the firmware, then it's not going to shut the power off to what I'm, to what I'm uh, using. So, okay, so we're going to check to see. So it's drawing about uh, 58 watts now because I have my 3D printer turned on. I'm not printing anything because I don't want to take a chance. But. So we're going to check for uh, firmware updates. See, there's a red dot on the firmware, so it's time to update the firmware. There's a new version, so let's uh, take the display on down here. Okay. So we'll kind of watch the app and display and see what happens. So there's the app, so we're going to say update. Added a feature for rapid detection of AC input power outages. That's good. Do not turn off the device during the upgrade procedure. Keep the phone uh, keep the phone stay. <laughs> that's a, a mis, misprint. Keep the phone stay on the current page of app. In other words, keep the phone on this page of the app. Okay. All right, so it looks like it did shut off the, <laughs> the output. So I have my, uh, this, if you remember from my videos before, I have the 3D printer running off of the, uh, off a 6,500 watt uh, uh, power uh, UPS that's plugged into this thing. So it's still going because it's plugged into that. But this, when you upgrade the firmware, it does shut off the AC out, output, which actually makes a lot of sense. So. Anyway, it's updating now. 76% done. Let's see, let's check the details here. Oh, that's pretty much it. So it's, it's it's doing a better job at detecting uh, power outages. So that's good. That'll make it more reliable. If, well, that's it. if we look at the uh, backup power, the uh, extra battery, it still says 99%, 100%. So with the firmware updates, Sometimes it updates the uh, firmware of the uh, main unit. Sometimes it updates the networking uh, firmware of the main unit. That's another update. And sometimes it updates the firmware of the battery, the extra battery. So we'll see what it does. It's up to 95% now. We're only drawing 50 watts, the uh, 58 watts. The 3D printer should run off of the extra UPS I have in between for at least 10 minutes, so um, should be okay. All right, it's 99%. Every little click. Okay, now it's uh, it's done. That's it. Update uh, the Wi-Fi is up to date. It looks like so. We'll go back, and now it doesn't say any firmware updates. So, all right, so it's putting out power again. Now it's uh, you can see the output is 260 watts because it's recharging the uh, UPS that's in between this and the 3D printer. So the 3D printer never turned off, but it, it drew power from the, the UPS, which I may as well show you again. So the, three, three, the other UPS is right here. Uh, I probably shouldn't have this cloth on it. So that's just sitting in between because uh, the... As you saw my other videos, EcoFlow doesn't doesn't guarantee that it'll switch fast enough to, to keep computers from not shutting off. Whereas this UPS from APC is designed specifically to do that. If there's a power outage, your computer will not shut down uh, when it switches over to internal battery power. So I thought it was safer to have this in between. It's an extra extra device, so it's another point of failure. But since I wasn't sure about how well the EcoFlow would handle uh, the switch over. I didn't want to risk it with a, it's basically a computer. My 3D printer has a computer. All right, so that's another upgrade. Uh, I, I check it every three months. I have a little tickler reminder that every three months I check it and they keep, they've been updating it consistently. So every three months there's at least one update. All right, so the moral of the story is Make sure you're not using your uh, UPS to power something while you update the firmware. <laughs> they said that could have been obvious, but wanted to do a test.
All right, it's about uh, 12 hours after I upgraded the firmware on the uh, EcoFlow Delta 2, and when I came out this morning, the, the AC power on the back was off. So I didn't check it last night. It was it was putting out power, so I'm assuming the power was on in the back because it was it, it was providing power to the uh, the fan and stuff. If you remember, I said or I showed you that the Everything in, in the garage here is, that I'm uh, using this for is running off of a, a um, UPS, a, a APC UPS, 650 watts. So anyway, this morning, I went to turn the 3D printer on, didn't come on. So then I immediately, immediately thought, oh yeah, the AC power is probably out in the back. Now on the uh, settings, I have AC t uh, power uh, AC timeout set to never because I, I it's too annoying to remember to turn it on every morning and then turn off I have to, I'd have to turn off the uh, the uh, UPS and then uh, which is plugged into the back of the EcoFlow and then and then, uh, turn everything back on in the morning I, that's just too annoying so I just had AP, AC timeout set to never but apparently after updating the firmware it didn't uh, respect that so what we're going to do is we're going to set it to 24 hours. And is there a save or it just does it? Looks like it just supposedly does it. So it's set it to 24 hours now. Then we're going to uh, exit the app and bring it back up. And then we'll um, set it again. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so we've got the app back up. We're going to check the settings again. And the AC timeout is 24 hours. I'm going to set it back to never. All right, so it's set it. It, the it, the Delta Flow said it beeped at me, so I'm assuming it, it took that unit, that uh, setting. Okay. So hopefully tomorrow morning I won't have the same problem. All right, it's so the next morning. And the, I, even though I wasn't using the... Uh, the uh, that's interesting. It, I, even though I wasn't using the uh, 3D printer for over 12 hours, it didn't. The AC time uh, power didn't shut out, so it looks like that setting. So that the, it sounds like they have a bug in their uh, firmware update where it, it picks some default somewhere stored in memory. You know, I, I think the default is 12 hours. Somewhere stored in memory uh, instead of what the uh, app says that you have it set at. So a little trick there, if you if you have the AC timeout. Uh, set to something that you like, uh, not just the default, then uh, reset it after upgrading the firmware. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.